Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to take the headlights out of a 2012, 2013, and I believe 14 as well, uh, Toyota Tacoma headlights. Um, I've searched on forums and I can't really find anything. Um, this is my first video, so please don't criticize me too much. Anyways, so uh, the first thing you want to do is take off the grill. The grill is held on by four bolts, um, two actual bolts right here that are 10 millimeter uh, hex heads um, and then there's that other one right there and this tab or, or this little bolt I don't know what you call it but you'll simply pry it up with a flathead screwdriver and pull it out uh, the next thing is there is a tab on both sides that you'll pull up right here and pull out a little bit um, the, I guess the trickiest part would be um, there's little tabs down below um, see there's one right underneath the headlight itself the little gray piece and again there's one on the other side and there are actually some um, at the bottom of the grill too um, but you can kind of use there's four of them and you'll just kind of want to feel for those so uh, yeah I'll get my grill off and I'll show you Hey guys, I just got my grill out. Um, the tabs I was talking about on the bottom are kind of hard to show when they're in, but as you can see, they're going to be right along the bottom. There's six of them, not four. Um, you kind of have to wiggle them up and down to help get them out. And again, there's those two big ones right at the very end. You can see those definitely, they're not covered up. Uh, those are the ones that you're going to want to start out with. All right. All right guys, so now I have the grill off. The next step is to take off this little plastic piece right underneath the headlight. Um, first, you want to take off, or get a little flat blade screwdriver, push on the back of that green pin, and it'll pop off, but just make sure to catch it, um, just so that it doesn't go too far, um, break the tab on the other side, so. So I got my flathead screwdriver in there. Um, it's pretty, pretty small flathead screwdriver. Just I don't need anything big. I need something small to get in there. Uh, but once you get that tab release, you kind of want to wiggle it loose, kind of like that. Um, my screwdriver is gonna fall here in a second, but you don't want to force it. You want to be very gentle with it, and it should fall off just like that. All right, so I got that second tab released of uh, that plastic piece, right? below the headlight. Um, I wouldn't recommend going behind the plastic tab like that and trying to pry it off. Um, as you can see that mine has actually broke. Hasn't seemed to be affected anything but what I recommend is getting that small screwdriver and trying to push that tab in from above. Um, as you saw in the other video from above and actually pressing that in. You kind of want to go at an angle go through the existing gap and push and slowly work it out. All right, so I have those plastic pieces off on both headlights and there's it, now it's time to actually remove the headlight itself. There's three bolts that hold it on and they're located right here, 10 millimeter, another 10 millimeter, and one actually right about here. Um, you have to go in through the wheel well and the way you know you have the right bolt is you'll go through the wheel well, there's a third arm to hold the headlight in place and the bolt right behind that. So how you get into your wheel well, there's a bolt right there, um, 10 millimeter, another bolt right here, uh, another 10 millimeter, and there's a lock bolt. Let me get my light right there that you'll have to turn and pull out and then you'll just move this um, plastic piece just kind of tuck it behind the wheel and go from there. Alright so I have all three bolts off, one right here, one right here and one in the wheel well. Uh, the next step is to grab this tab off right there 
Um, the best way to do that is kind of grab your pointer finger, pull on that little ledge. Again, try to catch it. Make sure it doesn't just uh, pull out and damage your lens or anything, other uh, wires that are in there. So now that's out, um, release the tabs. Be careful of these. I've seen uh, when looking for a spare set of headlights, I saw that there was a lot of headlights that had broken tabs or, or little arms right here. Uh, so be very careful with those. I imagine they broke, break very easily. Um, this is a TYC headlight that I retrofitted and um, or I, I sent it off to Trax Custom in Boise, Idaho. Um, to the insert right here, this arm was a little tight so I had to kind of make it a little bigger and I have to help it out now. So. So I have all the arms released, um, I have that tab released, every bolt's removed. The trick to this, uh, getting the headlights, is you want to pull this out, so on the driver's side, you want to pull it out, rotate it in, and turn it um, towards the outside of the vehicle with the inside rotating up. Um, and then you continue wanting to turn that. Um, and you also want to disconnect whatever you can just to make the process a little bit easier. So I have my daytime running lights disconnected. Um, I can't really access my park lights or whatever these lights are um, called, but I was able to remove uh, the bulb, or not the bulb, the, the wiring that it goes into the bulb. Um, but I will remove the headlights now. And it is a little bit finesse. You want to watch out for your lens hitting any metal or plastic pieces because you don't want any scratch on your lens when you remove it. So, so I have that arm in. You want to be careful right here. It's metal, it's sharp, it will scratch your lens. Um, so you want to rotate it in. Be careful with those tabs. Right now I have to remove one of my lights. okay without it but you want to watch that keep on rotating keep on rotating make sure you got a good hold nothing's gonna drop out of your hands and I'm dipping that side in and keep on rotating it and your headlight will be free so it's not easy to get it out but that's my best way of showing you it. I hope it helps you. And basically, uh, putting it back in, kind of to me, is a little bit harder <laughs> than pulling it out, uh, just because it will. It, it's hard to get that arm underneath right here to go past the bumper, uh, the metal piece that the bumper holds on to, and. Um, yeah, so um, I might be able to show you that, but yeah, I hope this helps you, um, and thanks for watching. Alright guys, so um, like I said, getting the headlight back in is a little bit more difficult than pulling it out. Uh, you basically want to repeat the process again, um, which is backwards of course, but you really have to watch out for this, and uh, this is probably what's going to cause you the most problem getting it back in. Um, so what you want to do is put your headlight back in the way you got it out. So just like this. And again, watch out for this part. It's metal, it's sharp, and the tab too. You don't want to break that. Um, that holds a plastic piece right below it. So <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and push this back in. And let's see if I can get it first try. So. You'll feel that bottom part go in, and you want to make sure that top piece right here um, is underneath. Again, so you'll push it and rotate it. Don't force anything. If it's stuck, kind of just work it a little bit. Um, and make sure you're not catching any wires. Uh, just be safe. And again, watch out for these tabs. These are very... Um, fragile I guess you would say and so the way it's the headlight is in there the way it should be kind of just straight um, and then you want to kind of 
Um, make sure that you're not hitting anything, any wires. Again, watch for that. Um, and I'm gonna try to find a safe spot to put this in so it doesn't move and grab the camera. So, right here, right where that uh, tab that you had to pull, right there, you wanna watch out for that. You wanna make sure that this is in front of that, not on top of it, or off to the side, just in front of it. That's gonna help you a lot. Um, just get it installed a lot better. So, again, watch for those tabs, and you can see right there, um, I'm having troubles getting it up onto that top ledge. It's kind of hard to show you, but um, yeah, see if I could get it back in. There we go. Uh, so again, you want this side to be in front of that tab, and it's really, you kind of have to force the bottom, pull it up and towards you. Um, just that's the only way that I can find to get it back in place properly. Um, and then after that, uh, I want to make sure what can also cause you more problems is right there. Um, hold on one second. You see this ridge right here? That's supposed to be underneath this metal piece. So always watch for that. Um, you might have to put it back in and out a couple times just to make sure you get it in there properly. So I hope that helps you. Sorry, I can't. I'm not the greatest uh, explainer or tutorial person, but I didn't see anybody else do it, and um, I hope this helps uh, you guys out. And just be careful again. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.